More on traffic management issues, the MMDA has carried through with their commitment to continue their road clearing operations in Metro Manila by turning their attention to obstructions in Balintawak. The Metropolitan Manila Development Authority has started with the clearing operations in Balintawak. Street vendors and illegally parked vehicles along the streets were removed by the MMDA in order to improve vehicular traffic. MMDA personnel also confiscate goods of vendors who insist on returning to their previous spots. According to Quezon City's Department of Public Order and Safety, the local government fully supports the action taken by the MMDA, but there are things that they had to consider. Uh, we're 100% behind the effort of MMDA, but, but we have to take into account the classification of the roadways in the city, what we call national roads, which is under the direct uh, responsibility of MMDA and the PWH, and the city roads, which is our responsibility. However, uh, we adhere to the principle of uh, you know, joining them in joint operations as sinasabi natin. Whenever they do uh, clearing operations in the city, I make it a point that we deploy appropriate number of personnel to help them, uh, assist them in uh, the regular uh, operations natin, clearing operations in the city roads and national roads within the territorial boundary of Quezon City. The agency adds that they include the barangays in the clearing operations. After having conducted one, the agency says that they turn over the area to the barangay officials. There are uh, about uh, five or six barangay captains who were charged in the Ombudsman by MMDA authorities because of uh, their apparent failure to maintain the cleanliness uh, when we did the clearing operations. Another part of the MMDA's traffic decongestion method is the diversion of delivery trucks to Old Samson Road and Kaingan Road. Sidewalk vendors and illegally parked vehicles occupy one to two lanes of the road. Once these roads are cleared from obstruction, it should be better if there are traffic authorities who would continuously monitor these areas so that it will not be occupied again.